Hey there! Welcome to another lesson idea from Science Journal for Kids. Today, we'll join Shalita Hall for a quick walkthrough of NASA's Bag of Bones activity, simulating the dangers of bone loss in astronauts. To round out your lesson plans, make sure to check out our adapted article titled, How Can We Predict Bone Loss in Astronauts? Let's investigate how bone loss affects astronauts. To do this, we will use snack baggies and cereal to make our own bones. The cereal inside the bags will represent calcium and cells that make our bones strong. Let's do this. Formulate your hypothesis. What would happen to a bone if force was suddenly applied to it? Would the results change if the bone was progressively weakened? Let's get ready. Step one, using a permanent marker, label the bags one through five. Bag one will represent a healthy bone on earth. Fill the bag with enough cereal so the bag is very full and there is very little air in it, but not too full that you can't close it. Keep track of how many pieces of cereal you'll put into the bag and record this on your worksheet as normal bone density. Step three, you now need to fill each bag with less cereal than you did with bag one. Place the bag on a hard surface. Then quickly and carefully, but forcefully, smash the heavy book onto the bag. Now let's separate our cereal by affected and unaffected. Be sure to pay attention to your cereal. Pieces that have dust from other smashed pieces or only a tiny flake taken off should not be counted as affected. Let's calculate the percentage of bone unaffected by using this formula here, which pretty much just take the number of unaffected cereal pieces remaining in the bag, which is in this column here, and then dividing that by the original density of the bag, which is here, normal bone density, and then multiplying that by 100. Let's do an example. Let's do bag one. Now, try to complete the rest of the table on your own. Now, let's analyze our results. What happened as the amount of cereal decreased? What would happen if a real human bone was hit by a sudden powerful force? Would the results support your hypothesis? How can we prevent bone loss here on Earth? 